part of learning to bird or bird watch is about opening yourself to your surroundings. All you have to do is go outside and direct your thoughts and energy toward watching what is going on and listening what is going on. And you may find yourself very lost very quick. There are birds everywhere in this town. Uh, you know, be they the, the house sparrows or morning doves, blue jays, cardinals, you know, these are things that you can say, all right, I can learn to use a binocular with my common birds. I want to share a trick and it is about how to get on this fast flying bird that's hopping around in the trees. Uh, we can see it, we can see the action in the foliage, but the transition from seeing it and getting your binocular on it is quite tough. So here it is. With your binocular down, watch for movement. And when you see something, don't take your eyes off of it. Stay on the bird. And then without taking your eyes off the bird, stick your binocular in front and focus in on the bird. If you do that, you are, you are way ahead. And uh, that is the number one tip to get people to the next level. Then you may want to venture out to city parks, places like here, Edith L. Moore in West Houston. You can go to Herman Park, you can go to Memorial Park, anywhere there is a place to walk, where there is natural habitat, that's a place to bird. So many people have the opportunity to enjoy their backyard birds. Uh, they can go to places that are very near to them and, and engage with nature in a way that can help them gain a deeper appreciation for their own neighborhoods.